holiday cheer is being built at Irvin Park in Chippewa Falls. Our own Shannon Satterley shows us what it takes to get the park ready for the 32nd annual Christmas Village. Later this month, Irvin Park in Chippewa Falls will be shining bright with Christmas lights. But before that can happen, a lot of work has to be done. By Thanksgiving, the park will be filled with over 100,000 lights and over 200 displays. Director of Parks, Recreation and Forestry Dick Abair says it costs $8,000 to power the pomp and circumstance, all of it paid through donations. As we wanted this park to be used during the winter, which it, it is now, um, and um, it's a huge community event. It's gotten bigger and better every year because the community um, not only gives um, a monetary donation, but they also give, more importantly, their time to make this um, work. Jean Arneson is one of the artists who designs the displays and has been around since the beginning. She says countless hours are spent to create Christmas wonderment for the community. It's just worth it when you see the families and the kids and everyone come through and walk through and they're just, especially the little ones, and it's such a tradition for so many families now. Bear says hundreds of volunteers have helped out with this project, but they still need more help. Information on how you can get involved is on our website at WQOW.com. Reporting from Irvin Park, I'm Shannon Satterley. Back to you. New at 6, this year's Christmas Village will include a display and tree in memory of the Girl Scouts and the mother who lost their lives last November while picking up roadside litter. That tree dedicated to Haley Hickel, Sarah Jo Schneider, Jaina Kelly, and Autumn Helgeson is at the Welcome Center at the park. Murray Brunstead, one of the Christmas Village volunteers, says members of Girl Scout Troop 3055 were able to see the tree at Saturday's Remembrance Walk. I was really doing it for the girls in that troop, and and um, it was so nice to see their smiles. They'd come over and and everything, and and I said, Mrs. Jasper said, uh, the counselor, that they were hoping to put some ornaments on them, and I said I saved a box of ornaments for you. Brunstead says the Christmas display and wreath with Girl Scout logo will be located near the duck pond and will be lit up in green.